By the time he was just 16 years old, Chris Roth already had his dream job. What's fun was standing there in front of all the people that waited in line for two hours, photographing the band that clearly they love, and then most of the time hanging out with the band after the show. He was a photographer, capturing the rock and roll lives of Chuck Berry, Green Day's Billy Joe Armstrong, and Scott Weiland. For a kid who loved music and cameras, it seemed that life couldn't get any better. I've shot Nickelback several times. Pearl Jam, Creed, there's another one for you. Guns N' Roses, Slash. A teenage success, it looked like this would be his life's career. Turns out, it's not. Here's Chris today. He's a businessman, and his business is notebooks. A modern stationery company, who would have thought in this, this day and age where technology rules the world, uh, that a stationery company could continue to pop up and succeed in an ever competitive digital market. This is clearly a far cry from being the center of the music industry. What, at least from the outside, certainly looks very glamorous. But Chris learned early on that the image of a job doesn't always meet the reality. It was the time where all the online fanzines became posh and popular. So you know, I've got these 13 year old girls standing next to me with like their little point and shoot rainbow bright camera. And uh, here are, we are huddled in like cattle waiting to be slaughtered. And I'm like, had enough of this. I'm not doing this. See ya, done. Now that he was out of the music industry, Chris looked to his father's company, Allied Binding, a commercial book bindery in Baltimore. That's where he landed. The comparison to his old life was a bit of a shock at first. It was so much fun. It's like, I've got access to this. There was never a question. It's fun all the time. And then it's like, well, this sucks. This is not fun, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not only that, now, instead of working alone, Chris was knee deep in a family business. And we all know what that can mean. I'm not gonna candy coat this. We've had some hellacious fights. It's why most of the office doors don't have doors on them. I, we've had some epic blow ups. We're not a lot alike, so it's always rough. He doesn't listen to me a lot when it comes to that stuff. It wasn't working, and Chris needed an out. He found it in the form of some machinery sitting idle in the factory. It gave him an idea. Hey, you know what? It's time to take this from a business to business entity and create something that has our attitude, our, our flair. So he started his own business, Write Notepads and Company. His first product was a notebook, a simple spiral notebook, which was a calculated decision. It wasn't the product he was most passionate about, but the one he thought could kick off his brand. It was definitely the gateway product. We polled a lot of people. It was something that they used. It's the fact that it has a perfect crossover. It couldn't be confused with, with a massively produced Asian notebook or even some of the other competitors that we have, uh, their notebooks. He felt launching a pretty standard notebook with his creative stamp on it would be the easiest way to get an entry into what he describes as a pretty cutthroat stationary market. Chris and his social content director thought long and hard about what made the company different. We go after collectors and we go after, you know, people who want something different. Our collectors make a certain amount of money, they have a certain amount of education, and if we go after you know, Kim Kardashian, it's a waste of money to us. The pair realized early on that the basic skills Chris learned as a photographer absolutely transferred to running the business. Whether it's a photo or a notebook, they had to figure out a way to connect with the consumer. And it's a writing pad, so we can't like shoot off balloons all the time. You cannot connect and form a relationship. If they don't want to be around you, they're not going to buy you. Chris started getting customers and soon expanded to the products he was more interested in, like found pocket notebooks and customized designs. The goal for that was to be able to appeal to the people that use fine writing instruments, specifically fountain pens. It's something that we wanted people to find it on a store shelf or see it online and feel like, hey, this is the same kind of notebook I would have found on my grandfather's dusty old workbench. Today, the company has 20 products and keeps on growing. And Chris has surprised himself that indeed running a growing business 
has given him a purpose that rivals the one he once had out on the road. Coming up with the idea for writing notepads is sort of, it's, it's reinvigorated me. It's given me like this infusion of creativity that I had once before.